In this video, we're going to talk about how to determine the sales price after a discount is applied. So let's start with this problem. The price of a laptop is $400. How much will it cost if a 15% discount is applied, excluding any sales tax? Well, the first thing we need to do is find out how much 15% of 400 is. So what is 15% of 400? Well, let's see if we can do this mentally. First, let's determine 10% of 400. To find 10% of anything, just move the decimal one unit to the left. So 10% of 400 is 40. Now, if 10% of $400 is $40, what's 5%? Well, 5% is half of 10%. So if 10% corresponds to 40, 5% corresponds to half of that. Now, to determine 15% mentally of 400, we simply need to add 10% and 5%, because 10 plus 5 is 15. So thus, if we add 40 and 20, we get 15% of 400, which is $60. So that's 15% of 400. Now, if you wish to use a calculator to get the exact answer, multiply $400 by 15% as a decimal. To convert a percent to a decimal, divide by 100. If you take 15 divided by 100, you get 0 0.15. 400 times 0.15 is $60. So those are two ways in which you could determine the percent of a number. So now let's calculate how much it will cost after a 15% discount. So the original price is $400. 15% of 400, we know it's 60. So we're gonna discount the price by 15% or $60. The difference between 400 and 60 is $340. So this is the new price of the car, I mean of the laptop rather, after a 15% discount is applied. Now this is another way in which we can get this answer. And we could use this formula to get it. So the new price, this is the price after the discount, is equal to 1 plus or minus R times the original price. Now, because we're dealing with a discount, that's going to decrease the value of the laptop. So we're going to use negative R as opposed to positive R. If we were dealing with sales tax, that will increase the total price paid. So for sales tax, you would use positive R. So it's going to be 1 minus R. R is 15%, but as a decimal. So that's 0.15 times the original price, which is 400. 1 minus 0.15 is 0.85. So if we multiply 0.85 by 400, this will give us the same final answer, which is 340%. Now, I want you to think about this mentally. This is 100% of the original price of the laptop. If we have a 15% discount, that means that we're going to pay 85% of the original price of the laptop. And that's what we're doing here. If we calculate 85% of 400, we can go directly to the final answer, which is 340. Now, let's move on to number two. Rachel wants to buy a car for 25000 what will be the new price of the car if she receives a 6% discount? Well, first, let's do it mentally. What is 6% of 25,000? Well, we know that 10% is 2,500. You simply need to move the decimal one unit to the left. If 10% is 2,500, what's 1%? 1%, you need to move the decimal two units to the left. 1% of 25000 is $250. So now if you know what the value of 1% is, you can easily find a value of 6%. 6% is 6 times 1%, or it's going to be 6 times 250. If you had 6 quarters, you would have $1.50. So 6 times 250 is $1,500. So that's 6% of 25000 so if we discount the original price by 6% or by 1500, 
we're going to get the new price. And so the new sell price will be $23,500. Now let's confirm this answer using the formula that we had earlier. So the new price is going to be 1 plus or minus R times the original price. So we're dealing with a discount, so it's going to be negative R. 6% as a decimal is 0 0.06, and the original price of the vehicle is 25000 So if we're discounted, if we're decreasing 100 by 6%, we're going to have 94%. So the new price is going to be 94% of the original price. 0.94 times 25000 will give us the same answer, 23000 500. So now you know how to calculate the sales price of an item after a discount is applied.